You know, this last year, it really was a headline of Democrats deliver, but there's more to do, and that's what we're focused on for the coming year as it relates to the costs that families are feeling every single day. And there's no question that our country still faces supply chain challenges. I certainly from Michigan can speak about that and what that means. and everything that we buy in terms of cars and appliances and, and every part of the economy, and we are laser focused on addressing that, and the increased cost due to COVID. And over and over again, when we look at what has happened, when you shut the economy down in the United States and globally, the ripple effect is in every part of our lives. And so we have been laser focused and will continue to be laser focused in addressing that. And Republicans have done nothing to lower costs. They have proposed nothing to lower costs. We've worked with President Biden to pass the American Rescue Plan that put shots in people's arms to create safety for them, for their family, to get kids back in school. When the president took office, there were 46% of the children in America in school. Now it's 98%. That's a big difference, and we understand the challenges families still face under COVID, but it's safer. Children are back and learning in the classroom. And we've gotten our economy moving in the fastest, strongest way since 1984. It is amazing, the underlying strength, even when we've seen costs go up, which are very real. So consider a Michigan family with two young children. Dad works at a manufacturing plant. Mom manages a local restaurant. They're not wealthy, but they work hard and they get by. Then the pandemic hits. This Michigan family needed help and the American Rescue Plan delivered. We established the restaurant revitalization fund so mom's restaurant could stay open and keep her on the job. Republicans voted no. And we provided larger Affordable Care Act tax credits that cut the cost of their health insurance, made sure their children could see a doctor when they got sick. Republicans voted no. We expanded the child and dependent care tax credit. That means this family qualifies for an $8,000 tax cut to cover child care. Republicans voted no. This Michigan family was able to keep paying their rent thanks to the $1,400 economic impact payments and the largest tax cut in generations for American families with children. And again, every Republican voted no. The pandemic has been a tough time for this family and every family, every American. But rather than joining us to tackle high costs and inflation, Republicans are busy standing up for big corporations that are price gouging Americans while making record, record profits. We are laser focused on lowering Americans' costs and continuing the strongest economic growth since 1984.